This is like technology. It's like Tetris. It's like being in a Tetris game. It is. Have you guys got this in Sunnyvale? Um, yeah, we call it today tonight. <laughs> uh, that's how's that Scott. That's a date from the live show. If you want to check out the live DVD, it's probably in that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I've seen the live DVD, but disappointing about the music though when it goes all silent. <laughs> I haven't seen it, so I'm not sure what you mean. Well, we, we didn't have the rights or nothing to put the music in there. The lawyers came in and say we had to just make it silent. Can you define a house though for us? People live in housing commission. That's the general gist of it. But some people act like houses and they actually uh, rent their own places. They don't rent off the government. They're like imposter houses, you know what <laughs> I mean? Usually just known as Westies or Southies or Northies, depending on where you come from. Or homos, because it's not so much as a house as a home. No, mate, that's a lot of different. No. Nah. Authority, all authority, not just a singular, but all of it. I, all of it. I've had trouble with it myself, don't worry about it. Um, look, it's just about like people acting up against authority figures in general, you know, like lawyers, the government, uh, judges, uh, police, police po -po, yeah. you know, all of that. Yeah, 5 0. Yeah. <laughs> so, in the movie Shazza, you stood up to the judge at the end. What was that like telling? Telling the authority to stick it. I know that most people would find that confronting, but for me, look, I love telling people where to go. So for me, it was just like another day, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I don't think judges should think that they're that good and like better than everyone. So I just told him what for, you know what I mean? It was like that Phil Collins song, Another Day in Paradise. <laughs> Or, or that um, two-pack song, uh, Gangster's Paradise. Yeah, it was more like that. Yeah. Or I just was walking in the valley and I just told him, you know, what I thought of him to his face. Yeah. Like, if people did that all the time, if they'd be a lot better off. Yeah. California. Shut up. No sad party. <laughs> I'm love sorry, rain. mate. I sorry, love rain and hip hop. Has, has Des had a few bongs before the show? Mate. Don't go talk. get in court. He's off chop always. I think you get a straight answer from him. And he'll throw in these references from like before I was even born. So if he does that and I just say no, nah, then that's because I don't know what he's talking about. What are you doing? <laughs> or on the internet. So Shazza, like in the movie, you lost your father, which is pretty effed up. But something yeah. else big happens in the movie. Tell us about your emotional adventure or journey. Yeah, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. I don't want to say nothing that's going to like, ruin the film movie, but I think it's pretty clear that we go like on a road trip to Ayers Rock um, because I'll lose another important family member. But she wasn't that important because she hasn't been around for that long in my life, you know what I mean? She was a that. bitch. No, no, my mum, she's a bitch. Oh. Anyway. So we go there, we do this, that, this, that, and then we come home. But it's a mad story, and that's why you've got to get the DVD. So if I told you the whole story now, what would be the point of bloody watching the film? You can pause it and think about it and go, oh, that's her mum. Yeah, that's her yeah. mum. He had it on pause the whole time because yeah. he, he's got no idea what's going on, do you, bud? Well, it's good about you for money when you pause it because it's like, oh, you save it for later, but you're still enjoying it. Like this, so everyone just pause, go. <laughs> so you can enjoy yeah. that, it's free, yeah. it's complimentary. So Shazza, was Dazza really supportive of your journey in, in the movie? 
Well, that's a guys through stages in life. Um, mostly asleep or awake. And um, for a lot of the movie, they're the stages he's in. But um, he's all right. He's, like, deep down, he loves me. And, like, even if I'm a bitch, he, he always comes back to me. So I guess he's pretty supportive, you know what I mean? What are you pointing at? Deep down. <laughs> so speaking of that, Dazza, in the movie, um, tell us about your Ula route. Because you and you were making love to the wonderful Shazza. You had yeah. your friends Kevin and Vanessa standing around, plus the camera crew. How was what was that like? Oh, I need a lot of fluff and eh? <laughs> ain't. Oh, shut up. Kevin and Vanessa were going for it anyway, so we didn't like well, didn't that's what need I mean. to worry about it. Oh, that's what was making it bad. Puts me you. off, yeah. yeah. Ness makes some noises, don't she, Bum? Real noises. <laughs> yeah. What about what about your first baby bonus? What'd you buy for that? Oh, I, I don't know. I got a four wheelie, and then I think you spent the rest of it, didn't you? No, nah, you got something on that SD wagon. You put some money on the buddy SD wagon. That's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I thought that was your dad's insurance money. Right. What you think? Just five thousand dollars going to buy the SD wagon after you already spent half of it? Why well, to fill it up? So, premium and to fill it up oh, with the premium. Yeah. <laughs> premium unleaded, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> And so, guys, what's um, Paulie, I mean, Frankie Falzoni like? Well, they're two different people, mate. So, yeah. just Frankie Falzoni, can I swear on this? Or you can what? swear all your life. He's a fucking legend, no, eh? Frankie's yeah. good. He's a good bloke. Paul Fennick, dickhead. He's a posh <laughs> one, come on. Uh, like, you know, he drives this car coming in, sunny bail, bossing us around. That jacket. Telling us his work. Like, yeah. he makes us... He makes us do shit for a start, which pissed me right off. Like, and he's probably making like hundreds of dollars from the movie and that. Hundreds. And at least hundreds. And like, you know, he just expects us to do everything. And then like Frankie, he runs him around like fucking all day, every day, running, jumping, this, that. And he just stands around behind the camera and fucking pointing at him. He makes Frankie wear G-strings. Yeah, I reckon he's all right. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. cut that bit out. Uh, so, what about Frankie? What about those shorts? Have you ever seen something you shouldn't have seen? They're pretty tight. <laughs> yeah, this one did. Yeah. She never oh. was. She seen it when she was younger and that. Uh, but it was it was probably in a different condition, if you know what I mean. Now yeah, <laughs> she's seen it more recently, uh, and it was probably more like that alien movie, I reckon. Yeah, them shorts are lot. They're unforgiving. They're pretty you, unforgiving. Yeah. That definition is correct. They are short. They yeah, are short. Spoiler alert. Spoiler yeah. alert. Chop, chop, uncle. Well, well, to a lot of people, he's uncle, chop, chop. But to me, his dad is my old man. He's yeah. the old, you know, my father. He's probably, it's probably a bit like Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker. It's probably a bit like that, because I reckon he I reckon he'd chop me hand off if he had half a chance. Would you chop his off though? Oh that's that's the analogy that you're talking about, mate. Yeah, yeah. I'd probably drive the Millennium Falcon into his head. <laughs> or just a Ford Falcon if we had one. Uh, what about your little um Esky scooter? Yeah, yeah, I could try that. I mean he yeah, ain't you know, spoiler alert, Top Reed wears um slippers. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. So, what's your point back? Well, I'd run over his foot. Oh. They're not steel cats or nothing. Yeah. They're just like slippers. Yeah. You just roll over them in the, in the escalator. Chopper won't see this, will he? Remember when he started taking you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the movie there, by the way. It's called The House Those on the Authorities. There it is in the back. Google it on the internet. On the inter We're on the internet. This is awesome. Oh. You're right. Well, do you have any more questions? Because he's saying them out. Yeah, what about, Shaz, why do you keep going to the bikies for money all the time? You went to Thailand or Bali last time, and what's going on there? I mean, you know, if you're on a good thing, just stick with it. I mean, look, buddy. More time. People, oh, God. <laughs> yeah, look, people, they make life complicated. Look, I don't like to make new life complicated. I know if I want something done, I can go to them. 
and depending on what I've got to do, I'll get it, you know what I mean? Like it's not complicated. So I, they're me back up, you know, they're me back up. And now that Julie Gillard's taking a baby bonus away from me, I can't rely on this guy for money anymore. Can't just, you know, nine months later, <laughs> get a bit of a payment. So the bike is seem like a pretty good, um, a pretty good idea for me, mate. Yeah, good guys, good guys. Yeah. So have you ever thought about getting a real job? What? Well, I mean, I, look, I can't. I, if for a start, I do have a real job. I'm a mother, and I take that like really responsibly. But like, I'm always looking after me kids and that. And like, I, who are you to tell me to get a real job? Like, mother, mothering is a real job. Like, you can't. Twenty eight hours a day on there, like cooking, cleaning, getting them here, getting them there, morning and like you know, spend a day for about getting a real job. They no one offers no jobs in this country, like current affairs presenter. They just all got the sack party, Joe. That show is finished. Over, mate. Uh. So, guys, what about? In the movie, Dazza didn't take much drugs. What was happening there? Was it like off pension week or? I think we probably couldn't show that in case some kids came and saw the movie and it set a bad example for them. Yeah, because apart from that, everything else we do is choice. Yeah, it's just normal, all the rest of it. Drugs is just for adults, kids. Oh, they, oh man, they were, you smoked a few cans, babe. You're not an angel. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't remember that, but that's cool. So with the movie, you guys must be pretty chuffed that um, it's one of the biggest opening movies in Australia, like yeah, over over fun. half a million dollars in the first week. What do you think about that? The curtains open and it was big. I was worried it was just going to be like a little TV screen behind the curtains. <laughs> it was massive. It was like it was IMAX, VMAX, Gold Class, all rolled into one. Send Stadium. Good on you. Yeah. Event and Birch, Carol and Hoyts and all of those guys <laughs> and the Indies, all the Indies, we love you. Yeah. Except Dendy, they didn't put it on, so mm -hmm. it's stuck out. Mm -hmm. Nah, but like you know, you gotta, I gotta say, the people that went, legends, legends. legends. Got, you know, they could have waited till this month for DVD, but they didn't. They went out and they seen they got themselves a nice night out, yeah. a nice afternoon. Yeah. Bucket of popcorn, and That's they went cheap. there and they done a good job. A good thing they were supporting Australian film, even even though Australian film might not support Australian film, the people were out there and they were supporting it. And it's a choice, man. No, it worked out well. So, guys, do you reckon you're like the um, the William and Kate of Australia? You're pretty popular. Who? Prince William, William and, and Kate. <laughs> Oh, Prince. Oh, the Prince. Is that the guy that sings? Oh, no, that's different. Um, More Prince. little red cord. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we probably are. I'm not up the duff at the moment, so I think that's probably a bit of a difference. I mean, she's going to be fatty, fat, fat, and fat, fat in a little while. <laughs> so keep that little skinny waistline while you can, okay? You, your sister, is fucking hot, but. <laughs> You're looking that now. And I can fly a helicopter too. There you go. You got a job for you, Dazza. Yeah. Uncle yeah. Chopper Pilot. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, who's your favourite house and why? Bane. <laughs> what about in the movie? Yeah, he's in the movies, isn't he? Bane. Who's but he? your punishment must be more severe. Oh, God. <laughs> he's been waiting to do that all day. No, my favourite house is. Um, Oh, geez, there's so many good ones. Copper oh, Gary. Oh, that, Copper Gary. Who's that coconut up with the hat? He's a pussy. Frankly, yes. you'll pay me to charge money off the chart of the support. Yeah, funny, he speaks English real stupid and that. And he always wears the hat and he, like, Frankie gets the shit with him hard because of how he says his name or if he makes me favourite. He's a legend. And there's another guy, I think he might be his brother. He's like a Maori fella in the show with the orange jumper, Kevin. Yeah. He's really nice. He's, like yeah, him. he's a funny guy too. He's always got a long neck, which is good value when he comes over. He shares it, man. <laughs> he's a good dad. He's a good dad, Kevin. He's good. We like him. Yeah. So, Shazza, when you look at Dazza, what do you see? At the moment, I see his big, massive, bald head, because in case you didn't notice, he had a bloody fight with Roy, the sniffer. 
And um, he's just bloody beautiful. I mean, look, you know, you can't fold him, mate. Look, I'll fold him most days because he's a fucking idiot. But once you look past that, he's just bloody beautiful, mate. Yeah. Thanks, babe. Yeah. So you got any plans for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I bought Dazza a copy of my latest Zoo magazine and I'll give it to him. Well, yeah. And uh, I've got the middle of it laminated. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So you're a pretty lucky guy then, Dazza. Yeah, 100%. How many blokes misses is in the zoos, mate? Uh, <laughs> Apart from like rhinoceroses and that. It's not like on a zoo, babe. No, it's weekly, isn't it? It's not, yeah. mo- not monthly. So what are the locals in Sunnyvale? Do they mind you guys being there, being filmed? I love it. I love they in it. Yeah. Yeah. Bromelows, yeah, shout Bromelos. out to you, Bromelows, Legends. Uh, we use their Montana, house. Love you. Love you. Um, oh, Stink, I stink. Yeah, we yeah. don't like Stink. We don't like Stinky House, that's next the door monster, to the Bromelows. Yeah. But we use um, Bromelows Kid in it. He rides his bike round. If you're watching the movie and you see a kid burning around in the background, um, yeah, he's a real kid. He's not like some of those standing. Boy, boy! And everyone else is heaps mad, like the people at the pub, they're always mad. They never offer to buy some beer back, which nah. I'm pretty like I'm pretty cut about. But apart Slam. from that, they're they're pretty nice people. Um, who else? Everyone. Even the coppers, like I don't want to say it, but even the coppers are pretty good to us, eh? Yeah, we're lucky. We're yeah. very lucky. Lucky yeah. to live in Sunnydale. Yeah. Lucky we don't live in Burke. <laughs> yeah, why? Dangerous, most dangerous place in the world. Yeah. yeah. So what's it like living with um, Beryl and Reg? It smells a bit. It's full stinky, <laughs> eh? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's lucky you don't have smell vision. <laughs> um, because Reg, I, I don't know, I don't know where that bloody coat that he wears all day has been, but Jesus, it stinks. You know, a lot of people will have a dog and that, and they'll drop their guts and they go, Oh, Charlie, why'd you do that for? <laughs> it's, that's pretty much red. We don't have a dog. We can't afford a dog, but we feed him dog food, so that's probably why it smells like we go, Oh, poo, red. Even if you like, if I drop my guts, I go, Oh, red. And it, but it is good having red around because like, when someone does something really like spastic, like real stupid, you just go, Oh, he's red now. Like, so we've got our own language there. Like, you can use it. Like, if someone does something stupid near, you, just go, oh, he's red now. It's free babysitting, too. Yeah. He's got the mind of a child. So but the he looks like it. a grown up. So yeah. you can get away with saying that he's left the kids with Uncle Reg. No one really questions it. I'll give you five names, and the first thing that pops into your head, can you say it? Yeah. Julia Gillard. Fact. Dazza? Legend. Angry Anderson. Angry. Yeah, no, probably Angry Anderson. What pops into my head? One word, five. Is the AFL grand final in '93 when he did <laughs> Bound for Glory in the Batmobile? Legend. Ned Kelly. Oh, legend. 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 We know where he's buried, so come see us. Tony Abbott. Ah, never heard of him. <laughs> I think he's a man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you have to be born to be a house Can you teach someone how to be a house oh. Well, you can, I don't know, like, if you play the pyramids too much, and I see you got pyramids in the background there, <laughs> they can take all your money and you need the housing commission. So yeah. be careful. That's a message. To keep away from tabarets, mate. There's a few ways of getting into it. Some of us are born into it. Some of us are lucky enough to earn it later in life. So watch out because you might be all right now, but there's always room to become a house. <laughs> and guys, just to recap, why should your fans and everyone in Australia buy the movie? Because it's out now on TV. Yeah, and you're bloody un Australian if you don't buy the movie. That's the top reason why. Never mind about lamb chops for dinner. Go buy our bloody DVD, you dickheads. That's her. That's me. That's her legs. That's me legs.
Awesome, guys. Thank you, Shazza and Dazza. You've been wonderful. Thanks, Bane. Well, uh, your punishment must be more severe. <laughs>